He is out freaking standing. You see that there? That means that my soul water battery is still going like a week later. So let's take a quick look at the actual state of the uh, salt water battery. So this has been running continuously. Obviously it's dried out all the salt around the outside. Uh, this is sodium chloride on the outside here. That's just because it's dried out. That's that's nothing. Uh, but the interesting thing is the, the most of this is powered by the dissolution of aluminium. And you see that it's kind of corroded through there. You see it's all corroded through. And all the white crap in the bottom, that's just off that little bit of aluminium we've dissolved. So when things like aluminium and magnesium dissolve, you get this thick, goopy precipitate but you can see where it's actually eating the metal in a really weird place wouldn't have predicted that but um yeah it's kind of characteristic and it's on all of them all of the cells have eaten across at a specific level that's where it's drawn all of the power so to speak and this one as well so that's the plates dissolving now and i've been doing this properly of course what i would have done is as a general rule with batteries, you want your plates as close together because you need to move ions from one plate to the other at some point. Um, yeah. And as they move, they're going to bump into things and there's drag. So you want that to be as short as possible. So I'll maximize the current that you can take on these things and minimize your losses. But amazingly, he's still going. Um, basically a week later but ugh, disgusting goop in fact yeah let's see if we can actually yeah so that's just off all that goop you get there is just off a little bit of aluminium foil that's been dissolved crazy anyway yeah so my salt water battery still going